What's up, everybody? Back again with another beer review. This time, let's take a look at Bluegrass Brewing Company, their Barbarian Honey Ale. This is actually one I know nothing about. Haven't had this one before. Happened to just pick it up um, a couple days ago. It's out of Louisville, Kentucky, and it's described as an American Strong Ale, 8.5% ABV. No IBUs were given. It is considered to be a spring seasonal. From the little bit of information I did find out, Rape Beer has it as a 73 overall, 36 for style. So eh, not very good on the scores there. Beer Advocate has no score on it. So that's kind of like going into some dark waters here to take a look at this one. Also, 12 ounce bottle, 255 calories. Would not exactly recommend doing a six pack of these. Um, best served in a snifter or tulip glass. Have the snifter right here. And on the bottle, nothing really much from the label. It does have a date area, but they did not mark the date as far as when it was bottled. So no use having it if you're not gonna stamp it. But either way, it's a beer, so we're going in. Let's see what we got here. We got some little bit of smoke action taking place. Get this baby in the snifter. Alright. So, initial look. We have a nice, I'm going to say reddish amber. A um, little bit after sunset type glow ale. Do I'm trying to see if I see any sediment. I have a lot of carbonation. Looks like it's taking place, but not seeing as much on the sediment. So it does look like it may have been conditioned before going to glass. Not seeing any particles really floating around there. Looking at a head that is really pretty much a white head, not too much off of that. And it does actually leave some lacing so that's a good thing there um going to the the makeup of the head is not dissipating too quickly so it seems to be hanging in there came out about a one one and a half finger head so not a very strong one but what is there does seem to at least right now to be holding well um as far as the aroma I'm getting a lot of the malt sweetness. I'm getting molasses. Getting a real moderate to heavy malt aroma coming off of it. But you do have to take a good breath to actually come off so it's not hitting you until you really inhale that maltness. On the back end, Not getting too much of the, the hoppiness from the hops that are in there. So let's take a look on the bottle for ingredients. Does not give any, just brewed and bottled by BBC Beer Company, Louisville, Kentucky. And if you ever go down there, make sure you say Louisville and not Louisville or Louisville. They'll definitely know you're from out of town. So just a little bit of advice there. As far as the taste, The taste in itself is actually, oh, it's a, it's definitely got a good powerful kick to it. You can kind of tell that you're looking at a higher alcohol per volume beer, uh, alcohol by volume. You actually are tasting some of that alcohol in here. On the finish, you're actually getting a good light to moderate of astringency. Um, which is usually the cause where maybe the balance isn't there and the alcohol might be a little higher and you're getting um, a heavy medium well medium to full body exposure on the uh, the body itself and then the texture it is um, despite the alcohol 
at the end it's kind of watery but it does have a creaminess with it as well and I would even say kind of a syrupy uh, type of feel with it too so and you are feeling it right in here with so many alcohol going down duration um, about an average duration not too bad there I mean mouthfeel though not very good on mouthfeel not anything that feels overpowering you know you're sitting there you're having this this is probably one that you're not going to try to work through too fast because one you go from one to the next it's going to be a lot of calories you're taking in but two it's um it's kind of something where it's got a lot of the carbonation in there was going to definitely uh, i'm trying not to belch or anything here but it's going to definitely feel where if you're chugging this you're going to be belching a lot with it so um it is what it is. It's not one of the the great beers. You know, usually I look at rate beer and they actually are up and down on how they have their rankings. On this beer, they're kind of more on par. Actually, for me, I think they have 73. It might be a little higher. I mean, it's better than maybe some of the macros out there, but you kind of know what you're getting with the macros. But for what they're going to put into it and the alcohol, you don't want to really taste the alcohol as much. I would probably go on a scale of uh, five point scale. I'd probably go on this one, probably around a two and a half, um, middle of the road type beer. Is it one that I would go seek out again? Probably not. Is it one that I would pour out? Probably not. So with that being said, um, this is your average type beer. Um, like I said, wasn't familiar with anything with uh, Bluegrass Brewing Company. First time I've had their beers. But it is something that can definitely, I think, have some improvement on it. Um, if you've had this beer before, you know, hit the comments. Let me know what your thoughts were on it as well. It just wasn't an overwhelming or a strong beer that I would say go out and try this one. If you happen to have one handed to you, give it a give it a test. But with all the beers that are out there in the marketplace, this isn't one that I would definitely reach for first. Um, anything else wrapping up with this beer? You know, like I said, it's uh, it's okay. It's going to be dominated by the malts. It's going to be um, medium to heavy body, more of a medium to full body. And as far as anything else, it's just, uh, it's beer that's there. And when it's beer, I'm going to finish it. So, again, that is the Bluegrass Brewing Company. Unfortunately, not one I can really rave or say too many good things about. It's an average beer, um, so we'll finish it. But if you get a chance, like I said, let me know. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to comment, comment. And then also make sure you subscribe to stay up to speed on some of the other videos. Thanks again, and cheers.